Hey guys, this is Jonathan with an update on how to top up your BTC exchange account with USD. Note that the same procedure applies for other currencies as well. If you have any questions, you can always visit me at bitcoinworldwide.net. So I've logged into my BTC exchange account right now, as you can see here. So in order to top up your account with US dollars, right, or other currencies, all you got to do is just click finances. So once you click on finances, you'll be brought to this page. So all you got to do is just pick the currency that you want to top up. So in this case, I'm just going to top up US dollars. So just click on deposit. Okay, so when you click on deposit, you have to select the payment method. There are a number of payment methods here. But for this example, I'm just going to go with payer.com because it's much easier to use compared to other services. So in this case, you got to type in the amount of money that you want to top up. So I just top up $10 in this case. What I really like about this method is that you can top up any amount of money that you want. So for people who are just starting out, if you just want to top up $10, you can go ahead. If you want to top up more, you can go ahead as well. So it's really fantastic. So all you got to do is just click payment. So after you are done clicking on the payment, you'll be brought to this page whereby you can select the various methods of topping up your account with US dollars through this payer.com service. You can either do it through Russian banks or other services or you can do it via your credit cards or you can even choose if you have money in your payer account or web money, you can just uh, use the services here as well. So I'm just going to choose Visa and do note that for Visa, right, the Visa only apply to Commonwealth countries, CIS countries, meaning that uh, if you're not living in Russia or if you're not living in Honduras, right, you can't use Visa. So in this case, you have to use MasterCard if you're li living in other parts of the world. So I'll just click on this button here. So after you click on the MasterCard, you'll be required to key in your email address. So in this case, I'll just key in my email address, the one that I registered with this account. So after I key in my e email address, next you got to click on this button. Okay, do note that there's a service charge involved, about 40 cents in this case, about 4%. So after you're done here, right, all you got to do is just key in the the numbers that you have on your MasterCard. There are a total of 16 numbers. So in this case, I'm just going to blur out this entire thing, okay, for privacy purposes. I'm just going to key in my credit card details right now. Okay, then remember to key in the month and the year as well of the expiry date of your credit card. Okay, so you have to key in the CVV, which is basically a three-digit number at the back of your card. So after you're done, this, just click on this button. Okay, so after you click here, right, you'll be redirected to this page whereby you have to key in your mobile number plus the country code that you are in. So in this case, I've keyed in my mobile number and after you're done, just click on this button, which is basically send SMS if it translates. Okay. Then after you key in this button, you'll receive an, a message from the service itself whereby you have to key in the eight digit number here. Okay, so I'm still waiting for my SMS. It will typically take about uh, 10 to 15 seconds. So after you receive the SMS, you just key in the, the number that is in the message itself. So I've keyed in my number already. You just click on this button again. Okay, so after you key in this button, You'll see this section, it is basically I agree to the agreements or terms or condition if you translate it. So just make sure that this one is checked, then just click this button. So after you have clicked on that button, right, uh, you'll be redirected to this page. You, okay, in this case, because my MasterCard is actually registered with DBS Bank, which is a bank in Singapore. So I'll receive a message again to key in the, the one-time password. Okay, this one is for security purposes. I don't know whether it applies the same to other countries or not. But in this case, it's done in this manner. So I'll just key in the eight digit number. Okay, so after I'm done, I just click on submit. Okay, so once you receive this message, right, what it is trying to say that uh, it has been successfully deposited. So I receive a, a receipt here. Then uh, you'll receive a message saying that you have sent $10.40 and they will give you a transaction ID. Do take note of that. Okay, so you just click on this button and you are good to go. So once it's deposited, you'll say that your money is successfully deposited. So you can see right now I have $20.85 and 84 cents. I started out with $10.80 and, 
and um, 85 cents previously if you if you realized okay so once the money deposited that's it so with that I've come to the end of this video the topping up process if you have any questions feel free to visit me at bitcoinworldwide.net and leave leave a comments there or you can even leave your comments in the video description itself okay I'll be glad to help you out if you have any questions uh, feel free to drop me a, an email or two okay so with that this is Jonathan signing off wishing you all the best in your Bitcoin trading so thank you for listening and goodbye see ya